Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look at the difference between async and async star. So first understand what is async. Well, async is used for long running task. So async gives you a future. For example, like this, where you have to wait one second and then return. Or like this, where you have to make a restful API request and wait for the request to be completed. And then return the data. So that's future and that's async work together. So async gives you a future. And what's async star? Well, async star gives you a stream. And what is stream? Well, stream holds futures. Actually, stream holds a lot of futures. So we can understand stream holds a list of futures. So here's the basic understanding. Well, async gives you a future and uh, async star gives you a lot of futures. So let's go ahead and see the difference in example. So here I am, I have this main function and right below main function, I'll write another method that's called do some long task. And then I'll call this one from here. So I'm calling do some long task from my main function. And then um, this function is returning a future, which is an integer value. See that here I'm tagging it as future, which means I have to wait and then after waiting, I'll return a value, which is integer. So I'm doing it here both. I'm saying I'm returning. So I have to wait and I'm returning integer. So let's go ahead and run it. So here, one second later, we see 42. Now we'll see how to use async star. So here I have another function. Now you see this function inside has a loop. Now inside loop, we are returning a future, okay? But over here, instead of using the return keyword, we are using yield keyword. Why? Because return keywords finish the function and in general, it would never execute again. But here, we can't finish it because every one second later, I have to call this. So this function over here would get automatically called from here every one second later like this. So like this from here this function count for one minute which is this one would get called every one second later so over here because we have to return this value every one second later from this loop so over here instead of using return keyword we have to use yield keyword and to see how we used async star over here so over here what we are doing we are returning a lot of futures from a loop one by one after a certain time later so this is also a future which returns the future okay and as i said early stream returns future so that's why i have here stream because we are returning a lot of future so instead of one future i'm writing here stream which will return a lot of future and integer value doesn't change so let's go ahead and run it so now here i also 42 1 2 3 4 5 6 well so it will continue until it counts to 60 okay so that's that's the basic difference between async and async star once again async star is combination of a lot of futures and that's all now if you really and really want to understand how async star works and where you should use it so go ahead and check out my blog tutorial below where we have used this async star and this yield keyword to generate uh, states from events in block state management package Anyway, so if you learn something, so don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.